We have fans waiting on us. We need to show them that we can stick together and get this right. It's about proving to the industry and to the world that we have the staying power to be here. We need to get to back to the level where we actually respect each other's opinions. We don't respect each other. There would not be a Cherish without either one of us. Why can't we just be a team? Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Do you ever sit and wonder what happened to certain music acts who used to be popular in a particular era? Well, the group Cherish was one of those acts that I thought about. Cherish was an R&B and pop quartet that briefly rose to fame in the mid 2000s. They were one of the most notable girl groups to emerge out of Atlanta during the height of the snap and crunk music era. The group Cherish consisted of four sisters, Farrah King, the oldest sister, Neosha, the middle sister, and Felicia and Fallon, the younger twin sisters. The King sisters started singing at a very young age and their father groomed them to be professional performers. After years of preparing and performing together as a group, Cherish got their first big break when they signed to Warner Bros Records. They were only teenagers at the time, but they were ready for the spotlight. In 2003, they were featured on the Bratz hit single, In Love With You, which fared well on the rap and rhythmic charts. After that, Cherish released their debut single called Miss P, which was produced by Jermaine Dupri, and it also featured the Brat. But unfortunately, Miss P failed to gain any traction. The single's poor performance caused their first album, The Moment, to be scrapped. This was a disappointing setback for Cherish, but they didn't stop recording music. Cherish got the opportunity to record three songs for the Powerpuff Girls soundtrack, and they released Power of the Female as a promo single on Cartoon Network. Cherish also recorded and wrote songs for their next album. While they were making music, they made another career move. They left Warner Bros. Records and linked up with the producer, Jazzy Faye. Jazzy Faye was one of the hottest producers in Atlanta, and he produced songs for artists like T.I., Nelly, Lil Jon, Ludacris, Outkast, and several other Southern hip hop artists. He also had a successful artist under his belt named Sierra. Jazzy Faye saw the same potential in Cherish as he saw in Sierra, and he signed them to his record label, Show Nuff Records. Cherish not only signed a deal with Show Nuff, but they also signed a distribution deal with Capitol Records. In 2006, Cherish dropped their breakout single called Do It To It, and it featured one of the members from Young Bloods named Sean Paul. It was a fun, up-tempo dance song that was released during the snap dance craze. Around this time, snap music emerged out of Atlanta and swept the rest of the nation. Atlanta-based artists like Lil Jon, them franchise boys, D4L, and others made snap music popular. Cherish was also one of the main music acts who popularized snap music. Their single, Do It To It, was a commercial success and it peaked to number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. In October 2006, Cherish released their follow-up single called Unappreciated, which was a slower R&B track. Unappreciated fared well on the hot R&B and hip-hop charts, and it got a positive reception from R&B music listeners. With the success of their two singles, Do It To It and Unappreciated, Cherish was able to release their first official album, which was titled after their single, Unappreciated. The album received pretty good reviews, and critics oftentimes drew comparisons between Cherish and Destiny's Child. Their music style was also sometimes compared to Sierra's, but Cherish was able to make their sound distinct with their harmonies. The album Unappreciated sold well considering that this was their first album. It debuted at number four on the Billboard Hot 200 charts, and in a few months, it sold over 500,000 copies and was certified gold in the US by the end of the year. After the release of their album, Cherish joined Lil Wayne, Neo, and others on Chris Brown's Up Close and Personal Tour. Give it up for Cherish! So I know, I know that they're, they're grinding right now. For them to be on this tour, I think it, it just adds to that publicity and, it, and it's great for them. I think being the first show on the tour, we're actually anxious about yeah, it yeah. and excited. So. Yeah, we're very excited. We opening up the show, so, you know, we got to hold it down. We're the only females, so, you know, we got to represent yeah. the females, you know, so we're excited. That, but it's going down. Just as everything was going well, Cherish faced another setback. 
They were supposed to release their third single called Chevy, but their label, Capitol Records, merged with Virgin Records and caused all of their promotion to cease. This drastic change greatly affected Cherish and other artists, and it also affected the trajectory of Cherish's career. In 2007, Cherish released a single for their second album called Killa featuring Young Jock. Charlie is a killer, but I really want him, and I gotta have him tonight. Killa was a more hip hop and pop infused dance record, and it was placed on the soundtrack for the movie Step Up To The Streets. Even though Killa didn't have the same commercial success as Do It To It, it still managed to be in heavy rotation on BET's 106 and Park, and it also charted in the top 40 US charts and charted in several other countries overseas. The song Killa had some pretty good buzz, but after a while, the buzz fizzled out. Cherish needed another single, but it would take them five months before they would release their next single. In 2008, Cherish released their follow-up single called Amnesia. Amnesia was a slow R&B ballad that had some similarities to NSYNC's song Gone. A lot of fans did love the song, but even though Amnesia was a fan favorite, it still didn't perform well on the charts. In May 2008, Cherish finally released their second album called The Truth. But with the lack of promotion, the album didn't do that well in numbers. At that point, Cherish began to move in different directions. They did have some friction within the group. Also, the sisters were at different places in their lives. The older sister, Farrah, was married with kids, and the second older sister, Neosha, just got married. So their focus shifted. The two younger sisters, Felicia and Fallon, were still eager to create music, so they decided to move forward as a duo. When the news got out that Felicia and Fallon were working on a side project without Farrah and Neosha, fans began to speculate that the group broke up. Even though Cherish didn't confirm their separation, it was clear that the group was taking a hiatus. Fallon and Felicia moved on and collaborated with the rapper Rashida on her song, Don't Let Him Get Away. The two sisters also named their duo F Plus F, and they worked on their third album, The Breakthrough. The singles that were meant to be on their album, however, leaked online. Both of their singles, Infected and Lights Out, leaked, and their album, The Breakthrough, was scrapped. In 2011, Fallon and Felicia geared up to release their first EP as a duo. They recorded a catchy single called Like That, which was placed on the SWAT Firefight soundtrack. Around this time, Fallon and Felicia reunited with Neosha and Farah and attempted to shop around their own reality show. A clip of their pilot was released online and it gave their fans a look into what really happened to the group. I don't think we would ever agree on why and how the group broke up. Well, they think that we left the group, but really they left the group. But can make time stand still. It's called rude. I just feel like you have a personal vendetta against I me. I do, I do, because you no, 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 shit. No. Cut. Yeah, that's not okay, you know what? One of y'all can do it. Screw it. I'm oh doing my it. goodness. Like we got time for this? New drama queen. Cheating on my nerves. You need something under that. Are we not just Felicia. keeping it real? I'm confused. Felicia. You ever heard of when keeping it real goes Vera. wrong? Felicia has to have everything her way. She can be very, very mean, and she also has the biggest heart I know. As women now, we're all in four different places. I'm the only one that's married with kids. Farrah's definitely a role model for me. I mean, she's an awesome mom, an awesome wife, and she has her life figured out. Fallon and Felicia disagree with the fact that I even chose to have kids at all. You cannot be a mother and an artist at the same time. So I don't think they really understand how complicated my life can be. It's always two versus two. Fallon and Felicia versus me and Neosha. Because it's always us two against, against y'all two. two. And that's where the problem comes in. Oh, really? There has to be a leader in place. We so, all so you're the leader. Here. Like, we died and you became no. the leader. I feel like Fallon and I are constantly judged by Neosha and Farrah. Leave it Let's to a together. member of the plastic to complain <gasps> about plastic. <laughs> We broke up because Fallon and Felicia wanted to do things their way. Fair and Yoshi didn't understand that we have to be seen any and everywhere. If Fallon and Felicia thinks that me and Fair broke up the group, that's a lie. The fame definitely got to some of our heads, and maybe that's why we broke up. Cherish's reality show had the potential to grab the interest of many viewers, but their show never came into fruition. 
Road. Yeah, we've, we've, <laughs> we've actually considered doing um, a reality TV show, and, you know, just we kind of feel like the way um, it went about, it wasn't necessarily for us. And maybe in the future, if it happens to be a docu-series, we might go that route. But reality TV is just a little different from where we are trying to go. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it if it works out in our favor. But we're not about to be braiding life show clowns, mm -hmm. acting a fool. Yeah. Like, that's not who we are. Yeah. After spending a few years out of the spotlight, in 2016, Fallon and Felicia announced that they were releasing new music, and they released their singles One Time, Last Man on Earth, and Self Destruction. Cherish fans were excited to see Felicia and Fallon back out again, but they wondered where was Neosha and Farah? Cherish is always going to be Cherish. It's always going to be Fallon, Felicia, Farah, and Neosha. Always. But Felicia and I decided to wait no longer to give you guys new music. Yes. So. Around this time, Felicia and Fallon had more freedom to do what they wanted to do because they were officially independent artists. Their setbacks in the music industry is what led them to go independent. Um, are you guys on a label or are you going indie? Oh, we're independent That's right now. Question. Right just... now, we have a lot of different offers, but we are staying independent right now because we think that you guys are the ones that we want to give all of our music to. Absolutely. If we were with the label, it wouldn't be possible to necessarily do that. Yeah, because they um, would make us—they would make us put all of our music in one compilation, which is exactly what we didn't want to do. We want to give you guys our music whenever we want to. We don't want it to be any stipulations. Exactly. And the only way we can do that is if we are. Solo dollar. The music industry is not all of what it's what you think it might be. Like we, it, there's a lot of politics that goes on in the industry, and why we haven't came out with a certain amount of music um, in a few years because, um, you I know, mean, just being in the industry, it's a different aspect of coming up with new music. It's not just doing what we love, which is singing and writing and producing. You wish it was that easy sometimes, but. Yeah. Um, in the end, the music always perseveres. So, Thank I mean, you. We're, we've literally just been writing for everyone. It's like some of your favorite artists, I'm sure we have records on, you know, their albums. So, yeah. you know, music is always going to, you know, Prosper. be the, 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 the end all be all yeah. for us. After Fallon and Felicia released their singles in 2017, they went on another hiatus. Till this day, a lot of Cherish fans still wonder, what are the sisters doing now? Farrah and Neosha are currently married with children, and Fallon and Felicia continue to stay busy writing and producing songs for other artists behind the scenes. They both wrote songs for Jacob Lattimore, including his song Climb. Fallon wrote a song called Believe for Fox hit show Star, and she also wrote Danny Lay's platinum selling hit, Easy. Felicia wrote Seven Streeter's song, Before I Do, and Tamar Braxton's song, Simple Things, and she also worked on Justin Bieber's album, Changes. Although the group Cherish is no longer as popular as they used to be, fans will never forget the fun and amazing music they made together, and they can't overlook the group's incredible talent. Oh, we got to let go. It's not working no more. All you need to just go. Give me a heartbeat. Music to me. Music to me.
Wanna touch and kiss Said I wish that I could be with you tonight You give me butterflies Inside, inside, tonight Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this brief documentary Tell me what you all think about it down below Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.